Okay guys, so in this video, I'm gonna talk you through how to use colons. Now there are a few different ways that we're gonna talk about today. And I'm gonna give you an example for each one and talk you through how to use them for each method, okay? Now the three different ways that we're gonna use colons today are as follows. So we're gonna use them to introduce a list of items, to separate two clauses and to introduce a quotation. Okay, now in the first example, which I've done to introduce a list, I've already put the punctuation in for you. Okay, so I've got the sentence, the teachers always encourage the school values, independence, respect, honesty and perseverance. Now in this example, the things that I am listing are the values, independence, respect, honesty and perseverance. I've separated those already with commas because they are still items in a list, so I do still need to use commas. And my colon comes before the word independence because that is my first item on my list. OK, now you will notice that I haven't used a capital letter here and that's because I don't actually need to. And you may have seen elsewhere as well that when I'm listing items, I can also use bullet points after a colon. Now, I haven't done an example using that because that will come in another video. OK. So let's have a look at my next example. Now I mentioned beforehand that it was to separate two clauses. Now what you might be thinking is, hang on a minute, I thought a semicolon did that. Now the difference between those two is that a semicolon should be used when the two clauses are equally weighted, okay? When they're about the same subject and in they're equally as important as each other. However, when you use a colon, you must make sure that the second clause is expanding or giving extra information about the first one. OK, so here's an example. Remember what your teachers say. Working hard and persevering will help you improve. So in this example, my two clauses are as follows. Remember what your teachers say. And I'm going to put in my colon. Working hard and persevering will help you improve. Now, working hard and persevering will help you improve is still an independent clause on its own. It still makes sense by itself. However, it is actually explaining the thing that the teachers say from the first part, from the first clause. OK, so remember what your teachers say. And the thing that the teachers say is that working hard and persevering will help you improve. So I've put my colon in between those two things. It's really important that you use a colon here instead of a semicolon because this second clause is expanding on the first. OK, now the third way that we're going to talk about is to introduce a quotation. Now, you might be thinking in a quotation, I need a little bit more punctuation than just a colon. And you'll be right. And we're going to talk about what other punctuation you need as well. So after the saving the boy's life, the superhero gave him some advice. Look both ways when you cross the road. Now, the advice, this is the thing that I'm going to expand on in this second clause. The advice is look both ways when you cross the road. So that is my quotation. OK, that is what my superhero is actually saying to the boy. So I need my colon to come after the word advice. OK, just like that. Now, because it's something that he's saying, it's a direct quotation. I need another form of punctuation in here as well. And what I need to put in is some inverted commas. OK, so look both ways when you cross the road. And then obviously I need to close those inverted commas at the other end. So after saving the boy's life, the superhero gave him some advice and the quotation. Then I've put my colon, open speech marks, my quotation, look both ways when you cross the road and close those from the end of my quotation. OK, so I'm really hoping that that helped you identify some of the ways that we can use colons. Hopefully you'll be able to get some of those in your writing this week or whenever you are watching this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.